Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we're going to do an unboxing. The first one we're going to do is going to be for the backbone for the PlayStation 5. And then the second video that I'm going to make is going to be the unboxing for the uh, backbone for the Xbox Series X. You can also probably use this for the Xbox Series S. Uh, but anyways, we're going to get more in-depth on both of these videos but we're going to separate one from the other so right now we're going to just do the unboxing for the playstation 5 and then after i unbox it we're going to connect it to the playstation 5 and we're going to do some screen recording from my iphone to the uh to the actual uh youtube channel and you're going to see gameplay from the iphone the screen recording and i'm going to before i do that i think the screen recording um I'm going to show how it gets connected to the PlayStation 5, like how to connect it, and um, then we'll do some gameplay from the screen recording of the off the iPhone, and I'll upload it to the uh, YouTube with the whole entire video. And then um, I probably do a couple uh, screen recordings of different games. Um, I'm thinking of, I think it was going to be. God of War is one of them, and then there was a different one that I was going to also record, and I cannot remember. Oh, oh, uh, Ma Ma Maris uh, is the Spider-Man. Uh, we're going to uh, do a recording, uh, recording off of that. But anyways, so let's do this unboxing real quick. So um, hopefully you guys can subscribe to my channel, which is, I know it's Sport Bike Menace. It's supposed to be for my motorcycle, but uh, this video, I get to um, monetize it, and I get money. Now, I do have a gaming channel, which is Gamer Menace, so subscribe to that channel. So if we can get that channel to at least a 1,000 subscribers so I can make money off of that YouTube channel and I can post all my gaming-related stuff to that channel and then, you know, even my electronics, my reviews, the verses from one uh, console to another. Um, I'm planning to buy the PlayStation 5 Pro Controller, the Edge. I'm going to uh, put a pre-order so if you guys can subscribe to that channel again again is gamer menace um and then all this stuff will be on that channel and then my sport bike menace stuff will be about my motorcycle and my personal life like my career for racing my career for my cdl just my overall life uh will be more for my sport bike menace channel and then all the my electronics will be on my gamer menace stuff so if you guys can subscribe to that channel uh, i will put that on the description below of gamer menace so you guys can follow along with that but anyways let's go and uh do an unboxing and then again like i said we're going to cut this into i think three uh videos in one so one will be the unboxing then how to connect it to the playstation 5 and then gameplay of the console and then me just telling you guys the overall you know uh you know just ending the video at that point so it'll probably split into four but anyways so again i don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see that it says backbone it has a little design there so there's a uh, accessory up top and also uh the 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 controller itself now this is for my iphone so it has you know an explanation on how to connect all this stuff but again once i figure this all out and connect this to the playstation 5 then i will come back to all of this and how i connected it and how everything works because there's no point of trying to learn this while i'm trying to record at the same time so i'm guessing this is the accessory i don't know okay yeah you just take it right off Now, I do not know exactly what this accessory is for. So, again, oh, I guess it's for the top portion. This is for the iPhone 13 Pro. Mine is the Pro Max. Uh, it also has it for the iPhone 14, the Plus, and the iPhone 14 Pro with the Pro Max. So, again, I, it's an adapter, but I have to figure this all out. And then I'll be able to explain to you guys exactly how this all connected. But anyway, so it's, it's, it's spring-loaded. Um, the buttons feel 
no good. Again, until I don't get to connect this to the console and figure all this stuff out, I won't be able to really explain much about this. But it, you know, quality wise, it feels good. I will give it that. So anyway, so we'll be right back once I get this all connected to the PlayStation 5. And again, to show you guys, even the back. We'll get all this stuff connected. Um, it has, uh, now I'm guessing, I got the Type C to charge the phone. That's my guess, or it's Lightning, I'm not sure. I know it has the uh, headphone jack right here on the left side. But again, until I don't get to really connect this stuff and figure this out, I won't be able really to explain much to you guys about the adapter piece and how this all gets connected to the phone. So we'll be right back, guys. Hey, everybody. So we're back. So I finally got everything to work on the iPhone. So you have to download the remote play uh, um, app to your iPhone and you have to download the Backbone app to get all this to work together so the remotes to work and then you have to get the playstation 4 or your playstation 5 connected to remote play so to enable it is right here you go to remote play but you go to your system so anyway so you go there and then you're going to enable it and you're going to have that arrow facing that way right so once you have that so the way to get to this option is here on system you go to system then it gives you this options here and you go and look for remote play you go back here you're going to hit connect you hit there and here is going to you're going to have options to search for your remote play now so again so to show you guys that it's connected so here is going to be the main menu so it's going to mirror everything off of the PlayStation to this. So we're going to do screen recording. And we're going to re record uh, whatever game we decide to play. Um, and we'll record it off of the iPhone. And then I'll upload this video up to the computer and attach all this stuff. Now again, it, you're going to have to log into your PSN um, to get all this stuff connected. So another thing that I've realized, I think... Um, the backbone you can it works for both consoles you can have it connected to the uh, Xbox and you can have one connected to the PlayStation so you don't need one backbone but I bought two of them because I thought that each one you have to buy one separate but either way I'm still happy that I bought them separate because they have the white one which it has like the PlayStation uh, even though I changed my uh, plate to black and you know it would match the white to white but it's fine and then I have the Xbox and that controller is going to be black. But we'll see if there's any different features between, you know, this one and the other one. And I'll make a, a, a video with the Versus. So subscribe to that uh, Gamer Menace channel and then we'll check out the difference between them both. But anyway, so we'll be right back. But you're going to see all the gameplay through the iPhone. And um, again, once I'm done showing off the gameplay, we'll come back. And I'll close out the video, you know, giving my feedback. Uh, it's not a review. It's just my feedback of the con of the whole setup. And then, again, we'll close out the video. So, we'll be right back, guys. Hope the trains are running again. Should check in with Uncle Aaron. 
Yeah. Hey, Mr. Davis. How are things looking now? I've got a signal, but no trains on the tracks. Something must have gone down at the yard. It was the underground messing with your sensors. I'm thinking. Does Roxxon ever use a subway to ship new form? <laughs> Roxxon? Uh, the subway system was designed to carry people, not freight. But this line got some updates when Roxxon Plaza went in. So they could be using it under the table. Hmm. I'll follow up on it. So, uh, you mentioned your brother. You got other family? I haven't seen them in a while. I had to make some changes, like taking his job. I miss him, especially my nephew. We used to mix beats together. Well, maybe now you can see him again. Zem, your family. Hope so, kid. Yeah. Uh, I should go. Fight underground. Bye. So we got some screen recording off of the iPhone playing some games. Now my overall, I mean, it's not easy to really play, you know, games on the iPhone because, I mean, I, I don't know. I got to still do some more settings like, you know, probably brightness, probably uh, boost up the performance. But even so, this is still a small screen, even though this is the Pro Max uh, for playing those types of games. But don't get me wrong. I didn't get no, at least... I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong. I was looking at the TV because it's kind of hard. So I was looking at the TV as I was playing this. So I'm going to see the video, see if there's any lag. But I didn't notice any when I did look down. It's just not easy to play on a small screen. But this is still good because you get to play again. You get to play on the Xbox, the PlayStation, uh, um, uh, the arcade. You know, so if there's some games that uh, support controller. You can actually use this backbone controller to actually play, you know, some regular games on the iPhone. And they got stuff that you can buy also uh, here through the app itself. So like uh, Legends, you can use the controller. So again, it's, it's it has some good stuff. I think uh, I'm not sure. You no know, Fortnite, you can play it on 
I'm not sure you can play on mobile. I mean, it shows it there. But again, uh, it's it's good for what it is. So just to show you guys some stuff. But because the uh, PlayStation has more function buttons, so like, you know, it has a touchpad here. So when you're playing on the PlayStation, uh, it shows you, uh, you have to touch the screen. So those physical buttons actually show up. Also, to go back to your home screen for the PlayStation, you actually have to touch the, the, the screen itself. So it gives you the PlayStation symbol. So you can click on it and actually, you know, use the arrow key to go down. So it can give you the option to go to home or to do other stuff on the PlayStation. So if you didn't know that, it would be difficult to get out of the game and play a different game. But again, this is useful. So if you're with your, you know, if I'm with my wife, or my kids and they want to be watching TV, I can always play my PlayStation on the go, basically. You know, I can go to a different room and play it. As long as I think I don't lose connection. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to show you guys you guys an unboxing gameplay. Uh, you know, explain to you guys about this product. And again, I do have the Xbox version of this, and we'll get more into this with the versus on my other channel, which is the Gamer Menace. So you guys should definitely subscribe to that channel when I do the verses. You know, do you need to have, you know, one for the Xbox and one for the PlayStation, or you can use it on both. The way it looks like you can use it on both, but again, we'll see how that really works. And I'll be able to explain why I didn't think, you know, the backbone would work for both. Cause even for the headphones, so like I have the Xbox headphones, I have the PlayStation headphones and you cannot use one on the other. It's blocked just for the PlayStation will be with PlayStation, Xbox headphone will be with the Xbox headphones. And we're not talking about the third party cause third party, you can use it for, you know, both consoles plus the Nintendo Switch plus PC, meaning computer. So, but at least for the Xbox uh, headset and the PlayStation headset, you cannot switch them back and forth. So that's what I thought it was going to be the same thing for the backbone. Um, and again, I, I'm guessing it's just the controllers change plus uh, whatever um, stuff that it comes with, you know, for that bundle for that box. So, and again, I'm going to go to the computer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. What the, the what I'm talking about bundle wise. Because on the box itself, it shows uh, Xbox Pass, Arcade, uh, the uh, stream, and uh, game uh, GeForce Now. So, like, it shows all this stuff as it is. And it tells you one month included uh, for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So, I thought that this means that this is exclusive to the Xbox console that you couldn't play on one or the other. Now, to me, it, it's not a big deal. Um, it'd be a big deal if I was tight on money and then I'm like, oh crap. But again, I, it's cool that I have one that's white and one that's black. So if I wanted to play the Xbox, you know, controller version, I can just throw this one in. And then, so to show you guys the box for the PlayStation, it doesn't show you none of the stuff that this shows you, right? It doesn't show you Steam, doesn't show you none of that stuff. Now, I'm going to see if, you know, the interface for this controller, if it's the same interface for this one. And again, I won't, when I unbox this and I connect this, I won't give that information there. So you guys will have to go to my Gamer Menace and we'll explain.